Okay, so here's the video that we promised, uh, and I hope that you had a pleasant second part of your practice game there. Um, first, let's start with the posture. It looks great. There's nothing I would change about that. Eye line straighter. You're standing up taller. This the, the uh, tilt of your your body is really good. Your arms are hanging directly below your shoulders. There's good balance. Uh, you don't need to change one thing about the way you're standing at the ball or where you're positioning it in your stance. We're past all that. So we're still working on the dynamics of this a little bit. And uh, there's a couple things that go on here for you. It is a little bit what we call too far inside, but so are your hands. So it isn't. I mean, I really think that we can play some very good golf from where you have it at the top. Would I like maybe a little more wrist cock? You know, like, yeah. Would I like your arm to be a little bit higher? Maybe, yeah. Uh, would I like to be, you know, less space in here? Sure, all those things would be, you know, technically more correct. Uh, but I think all they would be, they would be in your case is, you know, cosmetic. They would just look better. They'd be prettier, but they wouldn't necessarily be more functional. You're at the top with a decent weight transfer and a nice shoulder turn, okay? But you see this? This is great. That's exactly where we want it. Now watch as you start down. There's that move, okay? It's subtle. It's so much less than it used to be. Uh, but it does, when we, when we went from the range to the course, the first couple holes, this is what came back. So watch again. Whoop. There goes the elbow going out a little bit, see it? And there goes the club getting a little steeper. Now this is, you know, where it was on a 10 scale one time, it's like three now. But that's still not a good position for you to consistently hit the ball from. I real, The reason you hit so many good shots with your elbow tucked in is that it keeps this club on this angle. Now... Listen to me, that is the problem, okay? That is where it's at. As soon as this, we get past this hurdle, uh, your returns are going to be exponential, okay? It's, it's nice to say tempo and metronome and smooth and everything, but if you, if you do this move here, smooth and slow, all you're going to do is hit a smooth, slow top <laughs> or a smooth, slow slice. Slowing your swing down does not correct the mechanics of it. Okay, so I really see this golf club here. Okay, it's it's very close to the golf ball. Yeah. That golf club there is more pointed at the ground. And if you go back over your 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 videos. That is the one move that we've been fighting to get out of there. Well, at first we started with the, the basic setup and the grip, and we got that. Okay, so you're in a good position now. We've got to get rid of that, that elbow wanting to go. So here's a goal for you. I want to get this elbow, the right elbow, under the left. That will keep the club in a position where you can... Remember we talk about release and swish. You can't swish it if it gets too steep and this arm gets up. So let's let's bring up a model like I've used in the past. And show you what I mean. So bring it down. Here's the elbow. Yeah, I'm sure you see the difference there, right? Not only tucked into the side, but under, and this is so key, under the right elbow. And this is a move that you can learn. Right here, right now, you don't, you have to practice it, you just go home. But as long as you're, the right elbow rides high, you're always going to have the club too steep. What does too steep cause? It can cause topping. It can cause blocks to the right. Um, it can cause you to stick it in the ground. 
and so you're bailing out. But all again, I'm going to come back to the the good part. Look how much more solid you are at impact. Look at look at your hands right now, uh, Sharon, at impact. Okay, they're right back under your shoulders. Look where you're hitting the the um, ball on the club, dead in the center of the club, starting to follow through. Boom. Follow through. So there's, you know, there's, uh, I'm sure it's frustrating for you at times when you go back to some of the bad habits, but I want to just keep stressing this one, that right there. I was watching a million times, that right there. See right there, your elbows are even or the right's even a little bit lower. Now the right, the right goes higher. And what happens to the club? Well, you can see what happens to the club. Right there. Top of your backswing. 70. A couple frames later. Steeper. Draw a straight line across from the elbow above the left elbow. He starts to come down. He puts his elbow way underneath the right elbow. And what does that do to his club? Puts it in a perfect angle to hit the ball. So this is this is our, our final hurdle here. And man, once we get it, <laughs> it's like, you know, you'll see some returns like you haven't ever seen it as far as consistency is concerned. Club face is better. I mean, so much stuff is better. You look at the early videos, boy, come a long way. The other thing I like too is look how the club goes left. You know, it used to go way out here. So, you know, it looks, it looks really good. So stay with the plan and it, yeah, it's nice to get nice tempo and smooth and slow, but it's not going to do anything for the mechanics. If you're not knowledgeable about what the mechanics are for you, that's got to go. Just try what you can. If, you know, well, next time we meet, I'm going to put uh, an aim stick, one of those sticks between your arms there, and uh, you'll see that you know you can keep it on in your arms like that. It'll keep this one low. In the meantime, go ahead and practice that right in your basement or a full-length mirror. Tuck that right arm down, and I'll show you again. I, I keep coming back to Garcia's video because he does it. Uh, the best or the most obvious. Watch the right elbow. Boom. Flat right to the body. Right under the left. Left elbow. And when you, you stand up right now, and if you put that left elbow lower than the right, watch his club. It goes. And this is what I want to get for you more than anything is the boom. The club going down like this angle. Every good player, every one of these models that I have would have some degree of that. I'll just let me just randomly choose another one here real quick. Do I have them down the line? Sandra Gal LPGA Tour. Yeah. At the elbow. Look at the shaft. Under the shaft at the top. Let me go to, um, I don't know who this is. Uh, Aaron Baddeley, I'm going to guess. Under. Flatter, where's the elbow? Under. So there's your homework. It was great working with you again.